So I want to talk about these right after this message from our sponsor. So this video in particular is sponsored by PioneerMiniSplit.com. If you don't know, um, I'm changing out the heating system. Actually, because propane runs this house in the wintertime, and I am frankly not wealthy enough to continue along that line, um, I reached out to Pioneer and was like, hey, you know what sucks? Paying for propane, noisy central air conditioning units in my house, and uh, when the heat comes on, it's like blah, 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 and I really don't have any zone control, so I reached out to them and said, hey, look, if you sponsor my channel by sending me all the mini splits I could use, I will make two full videos and do a couple promos. So since we are upon the winter, and I think we're all feeling that right now, unless you're in the southern hemisphere, then you're upon the summer, either way, this applies to you. Because a mini split like this, like these Pioneer ones that have the outdoor unit and indoor unit, are so much more efficient. It's like you could run them at like 20%. It's like an air conditioner's on off, on off. Uh, a mini split, which can heat or cool your environment, um, can actually just lower the, how much it's doing its job. And they're all Wi-Fi controllable too, so you could actually have, integrate them into your smart home. And I'm currently installing them, and you can see videos of that on my second channel. I built these stands that are way too monstrous, but that's how I do it for these to go outside. So this install is happening concurrently. If you're interested in Pioneer or any mini splits, I recommend uh, uh, te Technology Connections. If you want to see a whole bunch of videos, he does. And I actually have two of these currently running in my garage. And I'll be putting these six. There's 36,000, there's an 18,000, there's 12,000, there's another 36,000. I got lots. And they're all going to be going down here. This actual space will be heated and cooled with a 36,000 BTU unit. I can't wait. If you want to see how impossible they are to install or actual easy to install, check out my videos on the second channel. Meanwhile, Swan M10 Plus. So, Mozart. So, wait, put me something good. More Mozart? Oh, did I not put it on shuffle? Shuffle is better for this sort of thing. Oh, God, Mono Atari. All right, so, regardless of being able to pick great music at random, what do you think about? My network is slow as hell. Oh, there it is. These are a Swan 2.1. Now, I've had a Swan 2.1. I actually lived on my desk for a long time back at the old apartment. But it wasn't the famous one. This is the famous one. And this is the new Plus. This is the newest revision. And we, we got to go into some... There's. It sounds like a set of Swans. Straight off the bat. The price... These are probably the cheapest swans. Currently $156.99 with a $27 coupon. Save $27 when you apply this thing. I clicked on it and I'm not signed in, it's fine. So save $27, making them, math, like exactly the same price as like the Edifier MR4s. Now, here's the thing I have to say. These are inconvenient speakers on a desk. They just, they just are, because here's the thing. This subwoofer isn't like a normal big old honking subwoofer. This is a little tiny delicate subwoofer. And in fact, there's a volume control here, not for the subwoofer, but for the whole system. You see, it's designed that you're supposed to sit in front of the little monitors, and they're little monitors. These are little, tiny monitors. It's designed to sit there, and then you're supposed to have this subwoofer somewhere in front of you in the center. Now, I have a friend who has an older set of these when they first came out. He bought them, loves them, won't give them up. And this just sits behind his monitor. He's got his monitor stand, starts about here. And with mostly low frequencies, sub 130, I think the crossover is, coming out of that, it's fine. It doesn't really get blocked by the monitor stand. He's got a tall enough screen. And he's got his little monitors on the side. Well, I'll call these monitors. These are not monitors. These are speakers because they run off a attached speaker wire. <sighs> All right, these are a sealed, I think three inch with a tweeter and a white plastic face. And they're just black and they got a little hook here and then attached speaker wire. That's what you get for, I would call them the satellites. Um, let's go around to the other side of the sub. Oh, never mind. let's just pick the sub up because it weighs nothing. Because it literally weighs nothing. And this is not just a subunit. This is the power unit. So this is kind of like if Swan made um, computer speed. My ball. Come back to me, ball. I need to sit on you. I will link a giant 
three, 36 inch ball. So you could all sit on this ball, which is very good for your, like your core, by the way. Um, currently feeding it with fiber optic. Here's your two base ports, power on off switch, attach power cable, your sub volume, which is a separate control in the back, optical input, coaxial input, left and right input, um, uh, RCA, and it does Bluetooth five. So yeah, I'm plugging back in my fiber optic because that's what I'm feeding this to from that computer. I'm gonna unplug the speakers. This is the most, there's a little bit of infuriation. That's right, that's a word, right? Infuriation, because it makes me infuriated a little bit. With the fact that they don't give you speaker connectors. They're really going for, this is the cheapest set that Swan makes. They want you to know that it's the cheapest set they make. And here's how they tell you, because the, the four wires that go to the two speakers are in one connector. So you can never separate them. They're attached to the back and they're attached to this and you plug them into this. You can't fuck it up. It's got left and right and it's got a little latch and it goes click and it's done. And that's it. So now this is designed to sit on your desk. If you put this under your desk on the floor, the problem is that that frequencies that are not coming out of these little tiny like micro uh, satellites are gonna be gonna come out at your feet and it's just not gonna sound right. And you could, you could test that theory by literally turning the subwoofer down all the way in the back and playing it. And it's like, oh, these are real thin. These are real thin. But when you get it all cohesive and you turn that up enough and you get these at the right thing, I have them up on like wooden blocks and six inch stands just to sort of get to my ear level. Otherwise, they'd be sitting like here, which is nothing wrong with here. In fact, I'm probably going to recommend... See, now the, now the bass is too high. When they were up there, they had a little more room to breathe. They didn't get dampened by the table. And the bass was, like, balanced. Now I have to rebalance everything. I don't know if you're going to buy these for your desk. Because self-contained edifier sort of things and other swans just did the, uh, was it the M D100s? The D100s are over there are fantastic. They're 200 bucks. They're more money than this, obviously. It would only be, it would be less than $50 if they weren't on sale, but they're on sale, so it's like $75. And for a 2.0 speaker system, those are better. These do have a dedicated subwoofer, however. As small as a subwoofer is, it is a subwoofer. And therefore, by the way, I'm putting these back on the upside down. I'm, I'm going back on an upside down kick like I used to have years and years ago, where you sit slightly lower, and therefore your ears are perfectly in line with the tweeters, and you put, try it. It's free to try this. Um, much better for like the cohesion. But the fact that they give you a remote control is what makes me think that their intended purpose for this is no longer on a desk. Because number one, if you're sitting in a, in a normal room and your monitor is against a wall, I don't know if you've got either the, the chones to put the monitor on top of this to get it like fucking way up there or to shove this against the wall and then put a monitor here, taking up a solid foot of your uh, desk space. You will have a lot of uh, space for these small monitors. I've even seen them laid down and slightly angled up under monitors. That's one of the ways I was running my old Swan speakers. I was actually running them like this, tweeter on the table, and just this much was hidden by my 40 inch display and it still sounded good. On what was it? What was the model number of those swans? The other swans with the puck, with the with the circular volume control, which I have apparently upgraded and no longer have that volume control, which is kind of sad. Um, if these don't work for you, you get something like the the D one hundreds. These will have better low end response because they literally have. I wish they had a treble control. That's another thing. Is like I can adjust the bass. But then these are sort of just slaved off of it and whatever they're doing, they're doing. And they have very nice tweeters, but they, they're a little bit too bright. And there's where my fucking thought process came in. I went, okay, they're giving you a Bluetooth speaker sub, well, a Bluetooth sub with speakers attached to it and a remote control. They don't want you to put this on your desk. They want you to buy this and slam it on a table near the entrance of your house or on top of a kitchen cabinet, or any place where you can Bluetooth to it with your Amazon Alexa, or your Google Home, or fucking Siri, or your cell phone, and you've got a remote control, because once I do this, once I point these forward or apart, and then turn the, the base knob up just a, le a wee bit, and then walk away 
Once I do this. Oh. A Manchu soundtrack, by the way. Apparently there was a second season in 2018 and I missed it. Apocalypse Now. So now they're making sense. So you've got these little tiny, it, of course it makes more sense this way. These little tiny satellite speakers with wall mounts. You can wall mount this shit. You can put this on top of your kitchen cabinet. You can put, when it's, when you're walking away from it, that's when you can move that sub a little bit further away. When you want to use it on a desk, it's got to be in front of you. That's where the fucking volume knob is. If you're going to use them in the sort of capacity where you're sort of placing them just around in a room, like you just, you just want to get sound in a place, maybe your garage, maybe your guest bathroom. Here, I'm going to take this and be a vile human being and put it down here. Here we go. Look. Oh, beautiful. Just, just, just. Now there's just sound that's about to happen over there. The whoop whoops now, because it's got something behind it, so it's hitting me. It's probably going to shake off the speaker, isn't it? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Soul coughing, by the way. Circles. Like, this is where they're intended. These speakers are not... Everyone's like, oh, I got these desk speakers. No. No, these are room speakers. These are just the smallest room speakers. I almost wish, and this is... That they came with a, with a cover to sort of hide them, let them blend in a little bit more. Because they sort of stick out. They're only available in white. This is it. Plastic and white. Plastic and white. They used to be gold drivers. Used to be the high vi drivers. Now they've sort of like settled it down with some 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 nice gray, but beautiful. No dust caps. And they they just this is what they're for. You buy this setup for under two hundred dollars, and unlike a stereo setup, you have a centralized location for power and signal, and you just run the little shitty wires, which I wish you could always. And this is going to void your warranty, but if you needed to, you can just cut these and extend them because it's just speaker wire. Just cut it and extend it and put these speakers as far away as you want. Anyone with a normal kitchen with just kitchen cabinets is like, I just really want some sound in this room. And you keep it stereo. Oh, system of a down. Perfect. Let's go. They are playing. I'm gonna speak as clearly as I am now and unpause this and system of down is playing and this is how loud I'm speaking. Authenticity is playing and they are so fucking loud for how little they are. And the problem is when you try to use them on a desk, like I was trying to use them on a desk, I really went to the treble control. The problem wasn't that I needed a treble control. The problem was I needed to add about seven feet between me and those speakers. Because they sound fucking great. But I don't think they're designed for a desk. They're designed to be literally hit. I could throw that on the floor probably at this point. Once you get further away, the distance between the sub and the satellite doesn't really matter as much. When it's on the desk, you obviously need it to be centralized. But now here, it's just... That is as loud as I would play almost any speaker in this area. That's it. And they have long enough cables that you can just keep... Can I do this without knocking over, like, everything in my life? Hold on. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, give me one of those. Put that just further away. Bigger. Bigger sound. More sound. Wall mounts. Garage wall. You don't have wall mounts on that, but just throw that on the top of a desk in a workshop. How is that little bastard... I'm actually going to lower the bass. Because this is dumb. I'm talking about, you know, I think that was down. Yeah, that was down. I'm talking about installing those Pioneer mini splits to make it quieter down here. You won't hear those things going brr in the background because all the noise will be happening outside. And then they don't turn on and off like regular air conditioners where it's all the way on. They will ramp up slowly. So the fan just starts spinning. And so it isn't that fucking gah that you always hear in a fucking air conditioning systems like I've got. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Also, I won't be paying $1,200 a month on propane, which is about what it'll be costing me this year if I have to pay propane. So thank you so much, Pioneer Mini Split, for reaching out and getting in touch with me. Oh, God, this is... What? That was like a... Like a... <sighs> I'm gonna 
walk away now. I'm just gonna walk away. Because I, I couldn't figure out how to sell these swans. They weren't, they're super inconvenient on a desk. And yeah, they're small, but then you gotta put them up, and you can't put them down, and the sub's there, and then they're bright. It's... That's some organ-ass music playing over there, and I don't know what the fuck's producing it. I, I, that's fucking silly. I think th this is it. This is the intended purpose of these speakers, and they don't know how to market it. And I, Zio Spintera, I can market anything. Waifus are coming. Um, but this is this is how I'm envisioning this. These are so small. You know what this is? This is if Bose didn't fucking suck. Remember the Bose craze from like the late 90s? Or probably early 90s. I don't remember. I don't remember that far back. But I remember there were little cube speakers. Everyone was sucking these little cube dicks. Look at these little speakers. You could twist them in different directions. There's this big Acoustamass module. They never sounded this good. $150 pair of speakers with a little tiny ass sub sound better than any Bose system I've ever heard besides like the crazy Bose towers that they made back in the day when they actually gave a shit. Because Swan is fucking cheating. This is by the way, Little Witch Academia. Uh, I'm just gonna say track numbers two slash 4.29. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that's, that's, that's dumb. These are dumb. The amount of, of ass they're kicking, like I, I was trying to compare them to like those edifiers and the edifiers on a desk are absolutely much more sensical. Just so much more sense. See here, they're over here. They're sitting on the floor. Just, just so much more sense that these make. And you can set them up and they're good and their quality, their monitors are right here. N n those in a room versus those, that wins. That even, that might even beat the fucking D100s because of the subwoofer. But I, I gotta go with the D100s just because it's a, it's a true 2.0. And this thing is like some sort of weird fucking insect brain hybrid of madness. Nothing this small with just a little, a piddly little five inch. I don't even think it's a five and a half. It's like a, a five and a quarter. I think it's just a five inch sub. Nothing should sound this good. This, this immediate, this fucking, like, if I just held a curtain up, if I took that curtain and put it this way, and I said, hey, guess what speakers are playing? More keys on a guitar, because it's just going to get me pulled. You wouldn't be able to fucking tell me. Hey, there's, what is, uh, boy, would you meet me on the roof tonight? Uh, they drained me. Swan has drained me. Because I thought that maybe, like, I had a couple swans that weren't, like, the greatest things on Earth. The, the giant ones, the big fucking swan, like, M5As were, like, too much. And the M500s that I'm using as my center channel. Which, if you ever wanted to know where those ended up, I like to show these off occasionally. I've got this whole thing ripped apart because I was doing work. Here are the, here are the big swans. The big ones, the big ones, the ones that use an eight inch as a fucking driver, and then have that, which is the same as size as the treble. Uh, these live here because they're the only speakers that are violent enough to throw sound 17 feet that way to scare you when the Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic Park 1 goes, rawr. And what do I match for left and rights? The, the heresies with subwoofers added to them. So Swan, Swan made those, and although I didn't quite like them as much for like just le left and right stereo, they have a purpose, and I found the purpose of these. The purpose of these is to shove them places and make them just perform. I would almost recommend getting like a set of nylon stockings, not for kinky reasons, unless you want to do that for kinky reasons. Get a set of nylon stockings and just pull them over this because this driver is far enough back and that that you could just cover these to make them just a sheer black and so have all the sound come through and then hang them on the wall and they probably look like shit because you have to have a stocking hanging off them but that's fine if they weren't bright white plastic you could this is better than any sonos speaker you're ever gonna buy oh i bought this new sonos bluetooth and fuck you you fucked up you should have bought this cheap shitty swan setup that costs nearly nothing, that will sound better, and has Bluetooth, and optical, and RCA inputs. And if you needed to, you could use it on your desk. 
and it has a remote control. It's not the greatest remote control in the world, it's just the standard one. You got volume up and down here, mute, Bluetooth select, optical, coaxial, auxiliary, then an input button, which will switch between them instead of you picking the actual one you want. I don't know why. Then there's a button here to shut the light off, the little swan indicator light here, which is currently white, which stands for optical. Auxiliary is teal, coaxial is purple, Bluetooth is blue. If for some reason that light bothers you, boom, you can shut it off and you can power off the speakers, which I haven't done. You know, these are hilarious. I I wouldn't even know where to use them. Actually, you know where I, you know where the, my master bathroom up on top of the cabinets there? You'll never even see that speaker. I'll just lay it down sideways. The problem is that thing you definitely see on top of a cabinet. But I've got a currently an Amazon Echo Studio up there, so what's the difference? Epic score. I don't have to change this track. All right, that sort of freaked the subwoofer out. Because these songs are specifically just to make loud bangs. It's actually vibrating my fucking so uh, fireplace. from Konosuba. The movie, maybe? Maybe the movie. I don't know. It was great. These sound great. I, I have to stop now. <laughs> they get so fucking loud. That's cool Mc, Mc, cool Modi. Get up and dance. Um, links to these swans. A big thank you to Pioneer for sending me all that equipment. Um, here's the thing. Even getting the equipment you know, donated to the channel, I still got to install it. It's still backbreaking work. But once it's done, if I'm going to be saving five to six hundred dollars literally a month during the winter, and then it's going to be replacing, I'm not removing my old system, but I'm going to be able to use those as my air conditioners as well as my heaters. So I shouldn't need to use propane in the winter. And then come the summer months, every sp space it has on have its own settings and zone and dehydr and uh, dehumidification. So it's going to be fan fucking tastic. You want to do multiple units and not one central unit because it's better because it'll just shut off if it's not needed anyway um yeah swan you i don't know what fucking madness you guys are whipping out but nothing this teeny teeny weeny tiny should sound this fucking good and that little sub is somehow doing magic do you know that swan um i'll link to a page zeos i will link to swan's main homepage because you know about the swans i reviewed these and those and the little guys i'm linking to the absurd shit swan mix and i mean ob fucking absurd they've got a twelve thousand dollar pair of speakers that you look at it and go that's the ugliest thing i've ever seen how big is that driver and they're like 15 and i'm like what so yeah i don't think they're gonna send me their twelve thousand dollar speakers but if they make speakers that are 150 bucks or less sound this good i can't even fucking fathom what those sound like they've never been in any audio shows i've ever been to i've never seen a set of swan speakers panel speakers with 15s in the back oh oh this is why swan is my one of my favorite speaker brands bucart's got nothing but winners swan has got nothing but winners when they're winning and then the, the, everything else comes a close second um like triangle probably some of the best passives i would say because those are active and these are passive but there's also whatever Patreon and subscribe star support this channel. Thank you to my sponsor, uh, Pioneer Mini Split, who also supports this channel. Well, they will support this channel when I'm saving money by not spending it on propane. If you have a propane heating system, why haven't you bought your mini splits already using the link in the description? Um, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, hear loss of sound demos for $5 a month on either subscribe star or Patreon. And then if you want to join me, in a private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat where you and everyone else can just ask me questions directly, uh, show me your setup, tell me what's going on. We just It's a great little community. And if you're in that for $10 a month, you also get a uh, Swap Me channel so anybody who was ever previously a $10 patron can buy, sell, and trade here with one another. There's the Hi-Fi Guides forum. There's the Hi-Fi Guides main website, which hasn't been updated in forever, so ignore that for now. There's the in-ear fetish channel I started for anything in-ear monitors. And there's also a secondary channel, which is where I'm showing the install of that. I've got multiple chunks coming out. And um, I think that's it. On oh, that wallpaper, 
that wallpaper, because it's just, it's like unexpectedly amazing, um, is in the horde. And there, we good? We good? How am I going to take the thumbnail picture of this is the question. Because they're just, I should put it next to like a fucking shotgun, because that's what it does. It shoots a shotgun of sound right into your brain.